Mag, Phil and I, oh, excuse me. Uh, go ahead, Phil, you can tell the story. Well, Phil, as you know, coming from Flint, was a chip off the old block by the time he got to Yale. You know, he was sparking around there. And I, coming as I do from East Lansing, you know, I decided to go go east and see what it was like, you know, out there. And I met him at Yale, two of us. And we had the, the Fireside Theater tradition passed on to us by the members of the Fireside Theater that came before us. Did you know that? The no, was the Fireside. Oh, no, yes. yeah, way back to the 1600s. 1601 yeah. is part of it Yeah, Fireside Theater is an, is an old Yeah, people are always uh, stopping us on the street, you know, and saying, are you the boys, these are older people, they say, are you the boys who used to do the Fireside Theater on radio? And we say yes, because it is true. It was called the Fire Sign Theater. They, they, their hearing has gotten bad in yeah. As the years went by. Nick uh, Danger was done in 41 by the yeah. original Fire Sign Theater originally. And those four people, Harry Ames Jr. is one of them, mm -hmm. Brad Shaw. Other guys are in Tokyo now, and they're called the Four or Five Crazy Guys, and they're one of the most popular Japanese comedy acts. They, own, they are. They, they own they have a studio. They have a called The Drifters. They own a miniature studio there, and you know how valuable those are, a computed miniature studio. That's true. Four or Five Crazy Guys, and they yeah. passed the direct fire sign theater mantle over to us in a ceremony in April 1967. The Mickey mantle. It has little Mickey Mouse uh, images embossed on it. It's like a shawl. Well, the American version has Mickey Mouses, but I was surprised to see, Phil, that the Chinese or Oriental or disoriented yeah. version mm -hmm. has Mickey Maoists on yes. it. Really it's interesting. Close. It's, it's close very enough. close. Yes. And, uh, and instructive, too, you see. Oh, this, excuse me, this is one of the Poon supporters asked that he be allowed to sit in on the show. That's quite all right. Yes, you, um, you worked for Papoon during the last year. Out oh, God, field. yes. We, we all worked. Uh, I, well, I worked in the field primarily because I was working on the rabbits and the ground mice and uh, the uh, mantises. You did like the that. moles in Dade County in no, Florida. Don't too, remind me. <laughs> Gee, I tell you, those, all those underground hangouts, man, you know, to handing out literature to those moles. And, and those moles are, are illiterate and they are politically the blind. are very sharp. They're politically blind. And uh, I think they're too close to the... To the I don't know, the groundlings, you know what I mean? They can't get their snouts above it. They can't sniff out what's really happening. The they can't see, you know, uh, what's right before their face. It's the moles say a groundswell isn't necessarily what they're interested in. You see? Yeah. We asked them to join the ground. A ground smell, on the other hand, interests them immensely. You know, they told me that a turnip is better as president than a dishonest man. Yeah, That's well, a mole expression. Better a turnip in the White House than a dishonest man. No, well, you see, there you are. <laughs> and... And that obviously is why they didn't vote for Papoon. And I, excuse me, and I wasted a great deal of time. But the butterflies, on the other hand, all the ones some organisms did, and how we had him, we had him in. And he's been elected, and he's been serving very proudly. I would say. And talk because about of the media conspiracy, that most people of don't know. It's only part of the conspiracy. And the energy, the energy crisis, of energy course, crisis. as well. Uh, 